everyone, Basil Trap, and you're sitting in for the one and only Tom O'Brien this uh, last hour of trading. I have the uh, Tiger Technicians Hour, 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock weekdays, and I also have the opening call daily newsletter. And I'm going to show you this right now. The Dow is down 270 at 37,712. There's an arc formation that we look at, and it took out the left side of 38,457 from the 5th of, of March, and it's just been plummeting since, and it's sitting right on what I call the Chap Wave Inside Wedge Target support line. That target support line says that the 37,100s would be a target within the next, uh, some, sometime by Friday. We don't know if that's going to be correct, but we'll see. So, and the, I said that I talk about the weekly charts as soon as I return. So let me do this. I'm going to, first of all, uh, say that um, S&P is down sharply. The S&P is down 62 at 5,060. Look, it's taking out, just about to take out the left side low of importance that was the 5th of March of 5,056. Uh, we're really close there. The QQQ, same arch formation. The QQQ right now is trading uh, also with an arch formation, taking out all the left side lows. The next one is this huge gap. You remember that gap up that started on the 21st of, of uh, February? Well, that low is 421. I don't know if we're going to go down there. Right now, we're at 430. Here's your first real support zone. That support line coming in, well, if it's tomorrow, it's at about 4.29, and we're at 4.30 right now. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad, very close, 4.28. Um, we're down 7.5 at 4.30. IWM, the Russell 2000, this is the small caps, no chance, down 3.4 at 195.27. Looks like the 192, 200-period uh, exponential moving average area is going to be targeted. Gold is holding extremely well. Gold right now is... Did I just hear some funny sign? Yeah, uh, gold is up 23 at 2397. One of the reasons is uh, that Middle East situation, uh, the, you know, people flock, not people, countries, big, big institutions flock to gold when there's a geopolitical situation, which there is right now. Uh, silver is also up. Uh, let's see, silver is up 59 cents at 28.91, acting extremely well. We've got, uh, let me go to this now. I'm going to go to the dollar because there's a lot to discuss. And then we're going to have Steve Rhodes on. So let's get to 106.18, up 14 ticks in the dollar. Dollar looks like it wants to target the 107s. It's a 106.18 right now. Um, the euro took a huge dive because the euro is down sharply, down at 1.06. Uh, looking at the, uh, this is going to be the Japanese yen, USD, JPY. Look at that, JPY breaking out up to the 154 area. This is a, a multi-year high. It's really acting extremely well at this particular point. It makes 152 to 151, very strong support area. But look at bonds down two, oh, down two, making lower lows. If you look at the TLT, that's the uh, Lehman 20-year Treasury bond ETF, uh, you can see that there isn't very much support on the left here. Um, not not a trough that we'd be looking at. So at, at 90, the whole area of it's trading right now at 88.68 down $1.61. The whole area of 91 to 92 and a half, that's very strong resistance. And as long as these yields are going up, that's impacting the, um, here we go. Look at this. This is impacting the weekly, this is impacting the home builders, Philadelphia Housing Index down 11. So what I wanted to show you, this is for those of you who are aware of my uh, looking at peak Ds for other things to happen. Look at this daily chart. I've used this as the second phantom peak. I didn't use that one, but this the strongest leg A going all the way to that level. It's just I was able to use by just a fractional miss of a, of a peak. This is ABC. That gives you a D. And the reason why, I wanted to be ahead of the game because the, the futures have already given the weekly chart a peak D. Look at the ES. This is the futures uh, in the E-mini. Got into a peak D. Peak D is where other things can happen. So this is very serious. Now, the very last thing I want to look at, uh, hopefully before we get to the break, is this right here. Let me move over. Look at this. So I, for my subscribers, we use three lines. One is the price of whatever we're following. The other is the nine-period exponential moving average, and the other is the 14. Look at this. From the, the turnaround about the 7th, uh, what was that, the 6th of November of last year in the 148 area, 
this night period moving average went positive and it remained positive except for one day that it went negative up until today. And even today, you had to wait a while before um, it turned negative. And now it's negative. And that's that's the only uh, index, that we were, major index that we're looking at. Look, the Dow, pink nine period moving average sell mode. S&P, pink nine period moving average sell signal by the end of the day. I might have to give it a sell mode designation. QQQ. Look at this right there, pink. It went pink, then flipped to green, went to uh, now it's back to pink. This is the QQQs, pink, and we've got the IWM. It's been pink for a while. Look at that. Um, I use pink because when I use it together with the, the red candles, it just uh, I like pink changes the color a little bit. So we waited and waited and waited for the SMHs to confirm. We knew that they were going to confirm. We're talking about the weakness now. Look at this. I also talk about round numbers. We've had round numbers at highs, that all-time highs. Look at this. The um, NVD, one of the great semiconductor companies, NVD, NVIDIA, 974.00 on the 8th of March, all-time high, and look where it is now at 8.65. Uh, we can go on. Look at this. Even Caterpillar. We're in all the different sectors. Caterpillar had a round number 381, and then the very next session makes an all-time high of 382.01. Here it is down at 363. Dear, I mean, you can go all over the show. I'm taking this much more seriously than I had a week ago. Not that I wasn't taking it seriously on the daily charts, but now I think we're being impacted in the weekly. Even Deer makes a recovery high just the other day. 41392 was the high, but that same day, the 8th of April, it has a 413 round number open. So this is something I have to take seriously. Just one other thing we're looking at is high grade copper. Hydro copper is still doing well. So all these commodities, and this is very interesting because we are along the DBA, which is DBA Agricultural Fund. Here it is at an all-time high. That's the agriculturals. That's the commodities. Inflation. Bonds going up. I mean, bond yields going up. I'll be back with Steve Rhodes in a moment. I'm looking forward to that. Basil Chapman sitting for Tom O'Brien. I'm the author of the opening call daily newsletter and the Tiger Technician's Hour at 10 o'clock. I'll be back in a moment sitting for Tom O'Brien. <laughs> 